Breaking overnight, crews looking for the cause of a major overnight fire in Providence. You're looking at eyewitness video right here from that scene. All of this happening right near the intersection of Althea and Sorrento streets in the city's west end. You're seeing it right here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie joining us live now with new reaction from a neighbor. Good morning. Well, first of all, we we're told by fire officials that about three families live inside this home. We're told they self evacuated, though a search was done of the first and second floors just to be thorough. Now, this house was fully involved at the start, and crews weren't able to get it to under control for hours since it progressed very quickly. We're told there was heavy fire on the first floor, and that it quickly went up all the way to the roof, and that it eventually went to a fourth alarm fire. Crews later learned a dog did not survive, but that all residents did make it out uninjured. Deputy Chief Stephen Hull says while they usually do an interior attack, this fire got too aggressive and crews weren't able to get to the, to the third floor, so they had to evacuate the building for the safety of firefighters. Meanwhile, three families lost their home this morning. We spoke to one of the neighbors next door who says he took 18 people in between his house and his neighbors. One of the girls don't, don't stop crying. She says she left all her, all her dollies in the, in the bed. and. And she just have a, a laptop for, for her birthday and, uh, and uh, ready to go to school and all the school things in, his, in her room and they all devastated. And now that we have some daylight, you can see just how badly this home is damaged this morning. We're told there is some structural integrity to the building, though crews left the scene shortly after five, and it's now sealed off to crime investigators so they can determine a cause this morning. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.